good morning here today's topic is uh, acceleration due to gravity uh, only two lectures were given from the chapter of gravitation that is newton's universal law of gravitation only two lectures were given in the previous videos and here the today's topic is acceleration due to gravity okay uh, you know that uh, when two objects are attracting each other that means they are equally uh, applying force on each other okay force of attraction is same for both the bodies now we are considering here uh, the earth means our planet and an object which is kept on the surface of the earth okay so suppose this is the earth this is the center of the earth and somewhere here an object is kept okay i think this color is not visible clearly anyway here there is one object which is kept on the surface of the earth and say this is the radius the radius of earth okay and mass of earth is taken to be m suffix e e for earth m is the mass of the earth this is the center this is the radius of the earth and this is an object kept on the surface of the earth okay suppose mass of this object this is a small object is a small m therefore what is the force of attraction on the small object which is being applied or which is being exerted by our planet earth that is equal to if that is given by f then that is equal to you know that that is equal to g m e into small m divided by this r square here it is assumed that the entire mass of the earth is concentrated at the center of the earth okay so assuming that thing uh, this formula for force of attraction can be written where g is universal gravitational constant m e is mass of the earth small m is mass of the small object and r is the radius of the earth here radius why radius has been taken because it is the distance between this small mass and the planet earth okay that is the distance between the two objects so this is the force of attraction and we know that this force of attraction must be equal to the since force of attraction is there so there for there will be an acceleration of the object of the small object if this if that acceleration is denoted by small a then we can easily write that this f is equal to m multiplied by a where a is the acceleration of the object okay it is uh, where from we have got this one from newton's second law of motion we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration if the mass is held constant if the mass remains constant in that case force is equal to mass into acceleration so same thing <coughs> sorry same thing i have written here so m a is equal to this much okay so from here this m and this m are cancelled so what we are getting a is equal to we are getting g m e divided by r square okay this e is suffix of m okay so a is equal to g m e by r square so this is the acceleration of this small object not of the earth of this small object okay this acceleration is called acceleration due to gravity okay because uh, we have got this acceleration due to the gravitational force that's why this is called acceleration due to gravity and instead of writing a small g is used for acceleration due to gravity therefore this a will be replaced by g okay g is used for acceleration due to gravity therefore g is equal to a is equal to this g m e by r square okay where 
we know the value of g, value of r, and m is also known. Okay, so this way acceleration due to gravity can be obtained. G is equal to this much. And we know that weight of a body is defined uh, which way? You know that way. The force of attraction on any object, force of attraction of earth on any object is the weight of that body. Okay. So force of attraction is how much? That is equal to F, that is equal to MA, that means that is equal to MG. So weight of any body, weight of any body is equal, uh, if it is denoted by F, then that F is equal to MA is equal to MG. Okay, that's why we frequently write weight of a body is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity, that is M into small g. Okay, so weight of any object is equal to the force of attraction applied by earth on that object. That is the weight of the body or weight of the object. Okay, so M into the mass into acceleration due to gravity. And we know that uh, the average value of g uh, for our planet Earth is how much? It is equal to 9.8 or 9.81 meter per second square. This is known to you. Next we are coming to what? So here in this case you can see that the mass is kept on the surface of the Earth. And we know that the value of R for Earth is equal to 6400 kilometer. 6400 kilometer that is the value of radius of earth so if mass is not placed on the surface of the earth if it is not placed exactly on the surface of the earth but it is kept somewhere here say somewhere here and say this distance from the surface of the earth up to this object this distance is denoted by h if the value of h is equal to a small value, say it is 100 meter or 500 meter or suppose it is equal to uh, say uh, 5 kilometer, that means 5000 meter. Okay, if these be the heights, okay, then you can see that it is 5 kilometer, so as compared to this radius 6400 kilometer, and this 5 km, the difference is so small. Okay. So, in case of 5 km or 10 km or 100 m or 500 m, etc., for these small heights, there will be no appreciable change in the value of square of radius. Because square of radius appears here in the denominator. There will not be any appreciable change. Therefore, the value of G will remain almost constant at 9.81 meter per second square. You can easily observe this. Okay. So, for small heights, means objects kept at a small height from the surface of the earth, so in those, in all those cases, we can use only this formula. No need to change the formula. But just by getting this formula, uh, just by using this formula, you can easily calculate the value of G for small heights. Okay, and uh, we are drawing this conclusion just by comparing this radius, 6400 kilometers, with the small heights. Okay, right. Now, suppose this height is not so small. If you assume that this height h is not so small, say this value of h is equal to, uh, say, 200 kilometers. 500 km, say it is equal to uh, 20,000 km, etc. like that. Or say it is equal to 10,000 km. Means in that case, uh, this value of H uh, is not very small as compared to this radius of R. In those cases, what will be the value of G? At this height H. Okay? So, what will be the topic? Topic will remain the same. Just there will be a little change in the name of the topic that is acceleration due to gravity at a height h. Okay, that is the topic. So, how we will calculate g in that case? In that case, what is the total height? 
total distance from the center of the earth that distance will be that this uh, that distance will be measured from the center of the earth so what is the distance r plus h this is the new distance okay so i am showing the same thing here okay same thing i am showing here so suppose in that case the force of attraction f is equal to what will be that that will be is equal to g m e small m small m is the mass of this object okay divided by the new distance is r plus h here the value of h is not very small as compared to r so you have to take into account the value of h also okay so r plus h whole square so this is the force of attraction right so using this formula we can calculate the value of g so this f is equal to what this f is equal to actually it is equal to m g but this g we are not going to write this is a new value of g at a height h so say it is denoted by g dash okay g dash so m g dash here g dash is the new value of acceleration due to gravity at the height h so m g dash is equal to this g m e small m divided by r plus h whole square right then from here m is present here also m is present they are cancelled therefore new value of acceleration due to gravity is equal to this value <coughs> sorry okay this is the new value of d' and what is the old value of d' g acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the earth is denoted by g and that g is equal to this therefore we can compare this d' and g okay how just you divide this g dash by that g therefore write this way g dash divided by g what is the value okay so here it is coming in the denominator okay so what will be there it will be like this r plus h whole square okay g dash by g is equal to r square by r plus h whole square For small heights, okay. For small heights, this can be written as r plus h divided by r whole to the power minus two. Can you write this way? Yes, of course we can write this way also. Okay. So this is equal to what? One plus h by r whole to the power minus two, right? So this is equal to one minus. 2h by r. If the value of h is very small as compared to value of r, that means if h by r is very very less than one, in that case, you know that uh, if you expand this by using binomial theorem, then you will get more terms. Actually, number of terms will be infinite, and other terms will be. Uh, the next term will be what? It will be square of h by r. Next, that will be q by uh, q of h by r, like that. So those higher order terms can be easily neglected if the value of h by r is less than one. So in that case, we can approximate this by using the first two terms, that is one and two h by r, right? Therefore, g dash by g is equal to this much. So we can write g dash. Is equal to one minus two h by r into g. Okay. Just this we can write. Okay. So in which case this we uh, can we write this one? Only uh, only in case where h by r is very very less than one. Okay. In that case we can easily write. That g dash is equal to this much. Otherwise, you need to use this formula. Okay, no approximation. Only this formula you can use. G dash by g is equal to this much. R square by r plus h whole square. Okay. So uh, this is the end of this video. Uh, in next video, you will see 
uh, acceleration here you can see that uh, uh, acceleration at a height h so due to the change in height acceleration changes again due to other reasons also acceleration may change that will be discussed in my next video okay okay so this is the end of this lecture thank you for watching this video have a wonderful day